Today's Bible study is titled, That the Truth of the Gospel Might Continue with You. In our last installment, Paul began his discourse regarding what is often called the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council. We learned that, regarding his attendance of this council, he went up by revelation, indicating that the glorified Lord Jesus Christ revealed to him that he should go and communicate what he Christ had revealed the mystery to him Paul. We also learned that he took with him Barnabas, Levite, and Titus, uncircumcised Gentile grace believer and preacher, and once there he communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles. With the them being the twelve and other leaders in the Jerusalem Kingdom Church, James the Lord's half-brother, today, we continue with how Paul approached this communication event. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Galatians 2 verses 3 to 5. Let's break this down. First, we learn further of his travel companion, Titus, with Paul noting that he was a Greek, Gentile, and that he was not circumcised, this is critical because we need to remember that a major precipitating issue for the Jerusalem council was that, in Antioch, and certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren, and said, except ye be circumcised after the manner of Moses, ye cannot be saved. Acts 15 verse 1. So, what Paul had effectively done was bring exhibit A, uncircumcised Titus, to show those with whom he was to meet a fruit of his gospel. Apparently, the response to Titus entering in among the kingdom brethren there was that, false brethren unawares brought in, challenged his uncircumcised status and sought that this be corrected. Paul's observation of these false brethren was that they were ones, who came in privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. In other words, based on the new grace gospel that the glorified Lord Jesus Christ had given him in the revelation of the mystery, Paul went straight to the liberty that we have under grace. And thus, he observed that these who would seek to change the message and conditions of grace were ones who wanted to bring us into bondage, example, the opposite of that liberty. Some might say, well what would it hurt, pardon the pun, for Titus to have been circumcised to honor Jewish requirements since they were the hosts of this meeting. But Paul's position was that the liberty of those saved by grace under the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, Romans 16 verse 25, was on the line and thus his answer to these false brethren was, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour. And Paul's reason for not giving any consideration to the demands that Titus be circumcised is huge don't miss this. For Paul stood firm that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. This is an incredible statement that shows just how important it is that we not mingle law with grace no prophecy with mystery which is exactly what demanding circumcision and obedience of the Mosaic law does, example, new covenant kingdom requirements that are not applicable to the mystery body of Christ. So, the truth of the gospel was literally at stake. Believer, stand in your blood-bought liberty and do not give place by subjection to those folks or their teachings that would preach a mixed gospel, law and grace and prophecy and mystery so that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.